if you edit videos, you already know how painful it is when your laptop lags in the middle of a 4K timeline. Well, in this video, we are going to fix that problem. Today, I'm testing the Dell Precision 7560, a powerful workstation that might just be one of the best laptops for video editing. Every week in this series, I test and rate laptops to see which ones truly handle 4K video editing, color grading, after effects, and even Photoshop, so you can pick what fits your workflow. Here's what we'll do today. We'll open Premiere Pro, edit 4K footage, throw in some graphics, color grade it, export, and see how this performs. The main goal is simple. Can this laptop handle raw world editing without slowing you down? Let's start with the specs. This model comes with a one terabyte SSD, 32 gigs of RAM, running at 32,000 MT per second, and an 11 gen Intel Core i7 11850H processor running at 2.5 GHz. For graphics, it's got two GPUs, Intel UHD graphic, and a more powerful NVIDIA RTX A4000 laptop GPU. It's a bit heavy because it's a mobile workstation, but that's what gives it strength. Build quality, super solid. You've got two USB Type-C ports, two USB Type-A ports, a headphone jack, HDMI, display port, Ethernet, and large air vents both at the back and underneath for good airflow. It ships with a 120 watt power brick, so you know it's packing power. All right, let's open Premiere Pro and test this out. Lunchtime, snappy. It opens fast. I dropped a 4K footage on the timeline. Playback is smooth, no lag. Now I'm adding graphic templates and adjusting layers to push it harder. The moment I do that, the fan kicked in, which means the GPU is working. There's a little bit of shutter when I add heavy graphics, but that's normal. For color correction, everything feels responsive and smooth. Then I export a 16 minute 4K project using adaptive high bit rate setting. Render time, about nine minutes. 4K footage with effect and transition that's quite good. Next up, After Effects. I load a YouTube intro template from Evato Element. Playback is fine at first. It lags slightly on the first preview, but that's expected. Once catched, it played well. I dropped in some 4K clips and this laptop holds up nicely. Render time starts high, around 30 to 40 minutes, but gradually drops as the GPU kicks in. Again, fan noise shows it's working hard, but performance is strong for a mobile workstation. Now, let's open Photoshop 2026. Launch speed is instant. I created a large artboard and used AI Remover tool, and it did that quickly. Editing feels smooth, no lag when zooming or adjusting levels. If you're a video editor who also jumps in Photoshop once in a while, this laptop can easily handle it. Last test, CapCut. I import the same 4K clips Playback still smooth. Even with auto adjust and transition added, it's run perfectly. Export test is locked behind the paid version. But for what I've seen, CapCut performance is a 10 out of 10. So after all these tests, here's my verdict. For video editing, Photoshop, and After Effects, the Dell Physician 7560 gets an 8 out of 10. It's powerful, reliable, built for creators, but the 1080p screen might feel small if you edit on the go. The good news, you can easily connect an external monitor using the HDMI port or the display port. So that's my review of the Dell Precision 7560 with the NVIDIA RTX A4000 GPU. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next laptop I will test for video editing. And if there's a laptop you'd like me to review next in this series, please drop it in the comments and I'll try my best to get my hands on it and maybe test it in the next episode. Now, before you click away, I'm gonna show you a raw, uncut version of me editing with this laptop. No cuts, no fancy edits, just me using it and scrubbing through the timeline so that you actually feel how it performs in real life because in this video, I actually trimmed a lot of the scenes to make it short and to keep everything clean for YouTube engagement.
thanks for watching again and i'm gonna see you in the next one